Hello everybody and thank you for checking in. I have played this a little bit already. It's called Hero Zero. So basically this is my character that I first started with. This runs pretty similarly to like a Facebook game. It's time management, resource management, I mean it's strategy, real time clicker stuff. Here shows your stats. You have strength which influences the damage that you deal. Stamina influences how many hits you can take. Brain influences how often you can perform critical hits. And intuition influences how often you can dodge your opponent. So these are just your different items. There's item slots. This is pretty common. If you're a gamer, you'll understand it quite quickly. So down here you have your heroine, which is all this. You have missions, which you can choose. Um, time mission, fighting mission. Secondhand shop is where you will find gear. Duels and league. This is work. Training. That's another way to boost your stats besides gear. Special missions, not until level 15, so I don't know exactly what that'll be about. Boosters. Your team. Create a team or search for a team. Haven't done that yet. Not playing with people yet. Ranking list. And here's your microtransaction window, however you want to call it. If you wanted to spend money for donuts, basically a lot of what donuts do is just allow you to speed things up. That's all the things on the interface, I suppose. Sound options, background sounds. Sounds a lot better to be honest. Notifications, chat messages, and that chat messages is when you, one of these pops up. And control element. I have it set at 20%, so I have it down pretty low. And in the editor, I'll probably turn it down even more. So I um, don't know how much of the interface noises you'll be hearing. Game options, animations, uh, previews in the shop team fights, gang fights, and missing sewing patterns. I just have everything selected. And account. You can unbind your account or delete your account. We're going to click on this to go to the hero selection. And there's this little plus. Create an additional hero on a different game world. Create a hero. Let's create a boy. Since I do have a, a girl already. Hero name. How about... Super, I know that the hero names show up in that leaderboard thing. Super Dude 2016. Let's 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 just do it. Looking good, but no costume, no gadgets, no superpowers. Well then, let actions speak for themselves. Okay, so. You've decided to clean up this neighborhood and restore its former glory, but where to start? Observe the neighborhood for rumored disturbances. One minute, one energy, reward five coins, and a lot of experience. Mission finished. Something is surely amiss. The neighborhood is being flooded with creeps. Congratulations, you have accomplished your first heroic deed. 
The gained experience enables you to reach higher levels and a better reputation. Of course, there's always some loose cash as well. <laughs> I do like those uh, effects, sound effects. Level 2, your reputation from now on will be Dork of the Neighborhood. You receive two skill points. The assortment in the shop has increased. So, great, you received two skill points. Spread them now. We're gonna go. Probably. Hmm. Let's go. Let's do it this way. Great, your skills have improved. Now you'll be better off in a fight. By the way, you can buy skill points directly for coins. On a different matter, what are you wearing? Did you go on the street looking like that? Yeah, pretty much. Secondhand shop. So, we only have 25 gold. 25 coins, I should say. No hero is without a costume and special tools. Granted, your look could be improved, but it's a start. Duels and League. Here you can attack other players and their heroes. Show them who has the pants on. We're actually not wearing pants, so that's funny. Attack. They're gonna take a while because they are noobs. Annihilation! Hey, that was pretty good. So guys, that was the tutorial. <laughs> um, yay, I, I did something. Okay. Um, look out for the red exclamation mark. It will show you what needs to be done next. Here's a small present for your hero career. Five donuts and a 25% mission booster. Let's see what this is. Completing the tutorial. 20 coins! Level 3! Dork of the Third. Two skill points. This is a lot of fun to play. This is really fun to record because, I don't know, I just really like this style. What genres would you call this? I think if they called it casual strategy... Real, casual real-time strategy, perhaps? It's also listed as RPG because it is a role-playing element to it. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with this character. I might play this one more than Lollipop. I will try to remember to put a link in the description. I need to go back and put in some links for previous games as well. I know I started off this series doing pretty good about giving you a link if you wanted to get the game. I don't know why I stopped doing that. Honestly, I just, it just started slipping my mind, I guess. But I will definitely find the link for this. Put the Steam link in the description below. Check it out. It is pretty addicting. I just want to keep playing, uh, but I'm going to end the video and I've got to edit it and get it uploaded because it's been over a week since I uploaded and I really want to get this out to you. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. It really means a lot to me. I love seeing those likes. So that's not just like a thing I'm used to saying. Uh, I know I say it at the end of every video, <clears throat> but I really do love seeing likes. Gonna be honest, it really means a lot to me when you like it. And I hope that if you like it, it means you watch the whole thing, too. I hope that you had fun watching it, because I had fun playing it. And I will see you guys next time.